Hi YouTube, what's up? It's Rosewood59 here. Um, I kind of got this all set up today, so I thought I'd show you. I'm using my UDU screens for this. Wanted to try out, um, see how it would all work out. Um, one thing I did notice, though, I will mention, I don't know if you can see it here, but I had to add a half inch thickness here because I noticed um, when I was putting my UDU screens on, my other screens that I purchased, they kind of were going up a bit on a slant, and you kind of want it nice and even with a little bit of washers I put underneath just to help it so I've got a little bit of off contact. So like I said I added a half inch piece of wood on top here and underneath on my board um, right where the handle the screw goes in to tighten on top of the board I added just half inch pieces on top there and um, it works out perfectly now. So uh, let's give it a shot. It's my first time doing it so we'll see how it goes here. Um, but because these are thin I just got to push down here to handle my push. It's a lot of weight here. So I'm going to use some black ink here. This is just all the UDU stuff I'm using here. Uh, black ink and stuff for now. See how it goes. Make sure you mark off all your registration so you get no extra ink on and whatnot here. So let's see how it goes here. And be generous on your ink. Don't be afraid. I'm not a fan of these squeeze bottles here. I might just see if I can open it up here. Look at all. Oh, it's coming. Black is really thick on here, so can really get it off here. I just didn't want to prep this ahead of time because I didn't know how well it would work out and stuff. I didn't want my ink to go flying. Let's see how that is. If I need to add more ink, I'll add more ink to it. And I am using proper squeegees. I'm um, using a number 10 and 7 drometer, I think it is, or 75. One or two. I'm just going to hold it up here and just kind of flood it. Even though if I do have off contact, though, I still prefer to. Uh, Hold it up a bit. So I'm just going to hold it properly down here. Nice one here. Give it a nice one. Slowly lift it up. Should stay. I'm not trusting it so much, so I'm just going to put it down over here. I definitely can say, wow, that looks amazing. Everything looks nice and crisp. So now we're going to do because I'm doing a second color. I'm just going to flash dry it quickly here. I'll take a couple seconds here to heat up my gun here. Now all you're doing here is you're not curing it. All you want to do is just just basically wait till you touch it so that it basically is not um, so the ink is not getting on your hands. That's all. You, that's all you're doing. You don't want to cure it. You just want to dry it enough so that it gets nice and uh, heat. I do have a tip. Also, you want to do this and then just just to touch it. Like I said again, just to make sure. Also, when I'm done with this in my second coat, I will pop in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 seconds or so just to give it a full cure because it's only like a hobby. I don't really have a business that I'm doing here. So do up and down. It was dry, no ink is coming off. It's going to give it a quick little run around here again. All 
I just on low speed, I guess there's two speed. The one that's coming off now, I just want to wait till that kind of cools a bit. You might want to wave your hand a bit around or so. So you put the next color on and everything. It doesn't go weird. I'm just going to set this on the floor here. So I don't have a whole lot of space here. So I'm just going to move this around here. My door. Wave it up again. Not too bad now. It's, it's not too bad. Touch. I'm gonna put a second one down. And next color is gonna be green. Shake it really good. Now, of course, if you were doing a more large shirt, you would want to put a lot more ink on in that. I would want to flood it again. But because I only have one t-shirt I'm just testing out here. I'm not really afraid on what it is. Start my ink over here. That should be enough. I'm just going to lift it up. That's what I want to bring it back. Second time. Okay, let's see how that turned out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another second coat on some of the areas just for the fact that, because you kind of can see the black coming through a bit, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cure it. I got no green coming off, so it means it is good. Okay. So I'm going to do another coat. It's down here. And be, since I still got lots of green left on here, it should be okay. So I'm just going to fold this in here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go run a just gonna grab a popsicle stick so that might help. We'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I forgot a popsicle stick that kinda need that. Popsicle stick is a good help scooper to reuse your ink. You can also use that to help wipe it off and stuff when you're done to dry it as well. We'll do flood it again. I missed a couple areas. Like I said, you want to make sure you got lots of ink, but the fact that I am only doing one t shirt, like I said again. But I definitely can tell a difference here for sure. Oh, 
You can press forward or back, whatever way you prefer. Let's give that a shot and see how that turned out. It's looking really good. It's just going to give a little flash turn and then we're ready. So after I flash dried my green color, I took it off the platen and uh, just let it dry and then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for on a baking sheet for about... 45 seconds and it was fully cured, ready to be washed, get use, good uses out of it. And here's a picture uh, of the final product of what it looks like.